I'm going to show you how to do double rocker arm guides on SR20 DE or DET rocker arms. It's very simple and everybody should do this. Don't use rocker arm stoppers that fail. Will force the, they will forcefully hold the rocker arm on causing it to break most, more than likely. You can see here the factory guide fits very nicely on the left arm the right arm the way I'm facing it but um, and then on this side the one that is normally flat does not fit at all it's been known issue where people get their guides and shims mixed up and they try to put one on this side and then they'll have a flat one on this side and they'll torque the cams down and snap snap this guide in half because it doesn't fit. So I'm going to show you. It's really simple. All you have to do, you can see that on the factory one is machined on both sides to fit nicely in there. The other side, you only have, you don't have to machine the inside part. You only have to simply shave down the outside arm a little bit. I tried to do this with a hand file, but they are like forged something. Could not get it to file down, so I've got a simple little stand up grinder here. It's old, but it works. So I'm just gonna grind them down a little bit till they fit. All you gotta do is just go a little bit at a time. And then you want to keep checking it and see I only grinded this one just a, a little tiny bit and it is my first try and it already fits in there perfectly. Not a lot of play. I barely touched it on there for a second and it's it's good to go. That's probably got a, the same if not less amount of play than the, the one from the factory has. Let me get it in there. Uh, that's hard to do through the camera. Yeah, this one this one's probably even tighter than the factory, so it'll be perfectly fine and I'll later on in the video I'll be installing these in a friend's uh in a friend's SR twenty, so you'll see the full install after I grind them all down. You can see that they both fit in there all the way down. Doesn't look all the way down, but there's a little piece on there. Yeah. Should be good to go. I'll go ahead and grind the other seven arms and then I'll install them later on today. So here we've got my friend's uh, 240SX hatchback with the uh, SR20 that I'm doing the dual rocker guide mod on. I've got a freshly cleaned and ported uh, red top head here. I'm doing the final final torque on the cam caps. Um, there's three steps you do on the third step. You, it's uh, 6.7 to 8.7. Uh, inch pounds, 90 foot pounds falls right in the middle. So um, doing the final torque on the cam caps right at 90 inch pounds. And then that's just one and two. There's ten of them. But as you can see got rocker guides on both arms. Uh, if you were to torque down cams without modifying the rockers you would break either the rocker or the the shim itself, the guide shim would snap in half and uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I'll probably go ahead and add on to this video a handshake in. 
I'll add on how to set base timing on an SR because it needs to be on video. Just, I haven't really seen it. And it's an easier way to ask someone's question. Someone asks how to do it. I'll just link them the video and I don't got to type out nothing. So when I finish torquing these down, I got to torque down the cam gears. I forgot to do that last time and fucked up ahead. And I'll go ahead and set the base timing, how to stab the cam angle sensor and all that.